Good evening and greetings from Jerusalem. Jane just making a short news update. Breaking news out of the Holy Land. Israel is heading for election. Yes, you heard me right. This current government only lasted for a year. After Israel has been to election upon election upon election, different parties came together and they made this government. It contains parties from the far, far, far left, going to the center left, going to the midst, and then a little bit to the right with New Hope and Yamina and Israel Bitenu. Some people said that this was a government who only agreed on one thing, Nach no Bibi, anybody but Bibi. This has been a severely uh, divided government. They have not been able to agree on a whole lot. Uh, there has been many, many frictions. There has been many, many battles because ideologically, politically, they are so far apart. And it has literally, this government has been living on a dying breath for a long, long time. So uh, this coming Monday, I believe it was, they are going to take it to the to the government and say that this government is going to be dissolved and then Israel is heading for the fifth election in three and a half years. A part of the agreement for this coalition was that if and when this government is going to fall and Israel is going to go to a new round of election, from, the, from that minute until a new government is sworn in, the current Foreign Minister Yair Lapid, who is the leader of the Yes Latit Party, Yes Ati Party, he is now going to be the Prime Minister. So he's going to be the Prime Minister until a new government has been sworn in. Of course, this also means that next month, when uh, the American President Joe Biden is arriving here in Israel, uh, Yair Lapid is going to be the functioning. Uh, Prime Minister, and he is going to welcome the American presidents. So you heard it right. Israel is heading for another uh, set of election. And even though election is a costly thing, it's, it's a lot of a turmoil for a country. There simply was no other choice. So let's see what's going to happen. It looks like it's going to uh, this election is going to be called for October, maybe even October 25, which just happened to be my beloved mother's birthday. So there you have it. Israel is heading for new election. Can you imagine? Allow me to share this brief update by giving you two personal updates. First, I want to say that it's a tremendous, painful and difficult time for me. I found out yesterday that one of the amazing people that over the years that I have been living here in Israel, God, God has brought special people into my life for this season and this season and this season. And this beautiful uh, young lady from Norway came into my life several years ago and we kind of, she was a bit younger than me and we became very close and for many years we were sharing our hearts, our lives, our ups and our downs. She was actually the one who single-handedly created my webpage, Jerusalem Jane. She was taking some of those photos that has been well uh, known about me and shared uh, of me. She made my business card, my logo. Uh, we laughed, we cried together, we prayed a whole lot together. She encouraged me, she supported me, she helped me when I was sick. She comforted me and she lifted me when I received all the threats from Arabs. Um, Eventually she left Israel and she went back to Norway and I was just informed yesterday that she currently or recently passed away. So it's been very painful for me. She was one of the very few people that I let um, all the way in here. So I just want to honor her memory. Uh, God heal. Uh, may your memory be a blessing. May God comfort your family. Uh, you surely, surely was a blessing to me. In other news, <laughs> my GoFundMe page is updated. It's back online with new photos uh, and a new updated script that tells you a lot more about me, who I am and what I'm about and 
how I am here in Israel not funded by anyone and for so many years I have given my all uh, in trying to be that voice speaking the truth out of Israel and I'm in a situation where I really need to raise funds to, able, to be able to stay here in Israel to continue to be that voice speaking to all of you I'm standing for uh, yet another move. I have to pack up and move, find a new apartment for September 1st. So I am so, so super excited my, <clears throat> that my friend Michael in Los Angeles updated Disco Fund Me and it's back online. And um, will you help me bring that GoFundMe to, to, to reach the gold, which was set for $18,000. Right now, 8,000 has been uh, uh, brought up or raised for me, but that money has been used during this past year for me to be able to be your girly boots. Uh, so I'm basically starting all over in trying to raise the funds in order for me to continue to be your eyes and ears and girly boots on the ground. When I share this video out, I will share uh, links to PayPal, to the GoFundMe page, and also to another donation platform that is usable for everybody wherever you're living around the world. And I want to uh, say now that I will be pushing out this GoFundMe uh, quite a bit. I think the new script about me and my life is um, pretty good actually. And I would appreciate if you would share out this GoFundMe because you can reach so many people that I don't know about and that I can't reach and in that way you will enable me to continue to be here and uh, be your eyes and ears out of Israel. So there you have it. While I'm mourning the loss of my beloved friends who became like a sister to me, election was just announced here in Israel. Uh, so pray for the Holy Land, pray for God's will to be done, pray for me to find the right new and safe home for the next season of my life. Bye.